In question 9, we're told figure 1 shows a sketch of a curve C with equation y is equal to the f of x. The curve C passes through the point minus 1, 0 and touches the x-axis at the point 2, 0. The curve C has a maximum at the point 0, 4. In part 8, we're told the equation of the curve C can be written in the form y is equal to x cubed plus ax squared plus bx plus c, where a, b and c are integers. For five marks, we're asked to calculate the values of a, b and c. There are a few different approaches that you could take. I'm simply going to write this in factored form. If we consider now we've got one root at minus one, that would give me the factor of x plus one. We have a repeated root at two, which means I could write this as x minus two all squared. All I'm going to do is expand this out and get the values of a, b and c. So if we consider now, y will be equal to, we're going to have x plus 1, and then I'm just going to expand this bracket, x squared minus 4x plus 4. If I now multiply through, y is going to be equal to, and starting with the x, x cubed minus 4x squared plus 4x, and then with now the 1, I'm going to end up now with plus 1 lot of x squared minus 4 lots of x plus 4. So this tidies up, y is going to be equal to x cubed minus 3x squared, we're going to have 0x plus 4. Therefore from this we can say now that a is going to be equal to minus 3, b the term in x will be 0 and c is going to be equal to positive 4. So that's one way that you could do that question now for five marks. In part B, it says sketch the curve with equation y equals f of one half x in the space provided on page 24. Show clearly the coordinates of all of the points where the curve crosses or meets the coordinate axis. The question carries three marks. I'm going to do that just here as I don't have page 24 on the screen. So what we've got here is a scale factor stretch. So this is a scale factor stretch of 2, and this is going to be parallel to the x-axis. So parallel to x-axis. Or, if you'd like, more informally, we're going to multiply the x-coordinates by 2. So multiply x-coordinates by 2. We're not going to do anything with the y-coordinates. So if we look at this now, quick sketch, again, in the exam I'd do something slightly neater. What we're going to have is this point, this is going to become minus 2 comma 0. So we'll go to minus 2 comma 0, which will be just here. If we've got the point now 2 comma 0, that's going to go out to 4 comma 0. And the point of intersection with the y-axis will remain the same. If we multiply 0 by uh, any number, it's going to be 0. So this is going to be now just here, 0 comma 4. So we've got minus 2 comma 0, we've got 4 comma 0, and all I'm going to do now is put a stretch on the curve. So we'll come round, it'll look something like that, and then put some form of stretch on like so. So we can say that y is equal to f of 1 half x. So all I've done is doubled now the x coordinates, I've left the y coordinates alone, and it looks now like now some form of stretch. Scale factor stretch of 2 parallel to the x-axis, multiply the x-coordinates by 2. So 8 marks in total for question 9.